Welcome everyone to this video. We're going to cover a leap code problem in Python. The challenge we're talking about today is called design parking system. So first what we're going to do is give a explanation or we're going to look at the problem description. Then we're going to look at an explanation to understand how it works. And then lastly, we'll do a code solution to solve it. So let's read the problem first. The first one says design a parking system for a parking lot. The parking lot has three kinds of parking spaces, big, medium, and small, with a fixed number of slots for each size. So what it says is two parts, implement the parking system class. So parking system, we're gonna have big, medium, and small, initialized as an object of the parking system class. The number of slots for each parking space are given as part of the constructor. So that's the first set of numbers. The second part of numbers which says checks whether the parking space of a car type for the car wants to get into the parking lot. Car type can be three kinds, big, medium, or small, which are represented by one, two, or three respectively. A car can only park in the space of its car type. There is no, if there is no space, return false, and if it can park in that space, return true. Now let's look at an example so we can understand it. So we have a couple inputs. We have first parking system, and then we have add car, add car, add car, add car. And then what we have is the set of numbers, which represents the parking system. And then we have the add cars, which represents each added car. So the way I like to look at it is this parking system is the number of available parking slots that we have. So what they're giving us here is one, one, zero. And the way that I would represent this is this first position is big or represented by one. So it's position zero in the set and it's big number of big or it's the big uh, size and then the number of slots it has available. And then the next one here is position one. It's medium and then it's the number of slots available for medium. And then the next one here is the second position. It is for small, and it has the number of slots available for small. So that is basically representing what we have available for parking. Then the next one is the queues, and that represents the cars that are waiting to be parked. And it just gives us that there are four cars, but then it gives us what car types are available. So it would be one, two, three, and one. So our first one is one, our next one is two, our next one is three, and our next one is one. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to identify if this first car has an available slot, the second car has an available slot, the third car has an available slot, and the fourth car. And then we'll, represent, we'll return true or false in the case for each. So the first one we're gonna look at is one. One, we, if we look at car type, so this one would be big, this one would be medium, this one would be small, and this one would be big. Okay, so since our first one is big, we wanna to go to the first position here, big, and we wanna say, oh, we do have one available slot, so that one would be true. And we also want to, now that we've taken that slot, we want to decrease it. So our new array is going to be 0, 1, 0. Then we're going to move to the next one position, which is a medium. So we're going to come over here to medium. We have available position. So that one is also going to be true. Then we will decrease one from here. So then we have 0, 0, 0. And you can imagine with 0 left, we're not going to have any left, but we'll go through the exercise anyway. So next one, we have small. It's a third type, so we'll come over here to small. We have zero, so that's gonna be false. And we don't need to do anything. And then we'll go to the next one, which is big. We'll come over to big. We'll see that there are zero available, and so we'll return false. So that is our output, and it matches here. True, true, false, false. Okay, that, hopefully that explains how it works. Now let's go and do a code solution. 
All right, so I'll come over here. And first I wanna define this uh, set right here. We wanna define big, medium, and small. So how we do that is we're gonna say set under this first type here. I'm gonna call this set, or sorry, self. We're gonna draw from here, so self. And this is lot size. And that's going to be equal to big, medium, and small. Okay, so now that defines our lot size. Now we wanna work on the cars. So that's basically the, the first set, the lot size. Now we wanna look at the cars here, okay? So what we'll do here in this function is we will start an if statement. And what we wanna do is check. So we wanna check if it is car type. So we wanna check if it's car type one, if it's car type two, or if it's car type three. And then we'll do a run a condition on that. So first one is if car size is equal to one, which is the large. So it's gonna check and it's gonna say, is it this one? Yes, it is. Okay, so what do we wanna do? Well, then we want to also check if the lot size at position zero is greater than zero. So what does that mean? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this number and it's big, so okay, yes. Then we're gonna come over here at position zero and we're gonna look at this number. Is it greater than one? Yes, it is. So then we'll do two parts. So it's greater than zero, which we will return true. Uh, we also want to subtract. So remember how we came from here and we subtracted one because it was taken up. So we'll want to subtract one. So we'll do self dot lot size and then position zero and we will subtract one. Okay. So that's what we do for the, the, uh, the large car. And then we're just going to copy that for each one of them and do that for the medium, and we'll do that for the small. So instead of two, or instead of one, it'll be two, and instead of one here, it'll be three, and then the same conditions are true. So we're gonna check at, oh, here's position one, so we'll move to the next position, here's position two. So we'll check at the next position, it's greater than zero, if it is, then we will subtract, and we'll turn true. The next car at the next position is it greater than zero. If it is, return true and subtract one. And then everything else will return false. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. Okay, what do I have here? Oh, ha, I need to indent those. Same thing here. All right, now let's run it again. All right, so it ran successfully. I Hopefully this made sense as I went through the explanation and the drawing. If not, leave any comments or questions, and thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So long.